Now let's continue with this crusade against these dangerous dogs and their dangerous owners. Just a quick update on the track record of these dangerous mutts that should be illegal. July 4th, a 10 year old had his testicle bitten and the parents are worried if the boy will ever be able to have children. The boy was searching for a soda when the dog made its move. All of a sudden, Armani opened the cooler, turned around and said, I found one. The dog broke off the chain, jumped the fence and took after Armani. He was only born with one testicle, the one he has now. It's the only one he had left. The dog went straight after the boy's crotch and bit it. Right, the dog is in quarantine. A self-proclaimed dog lover regrettably wants the dog to be put down. Why regrettably? These are, uh, again, deranged people. This mutt lover said she doesn't place the blame on the animal. She says every time the dog would bark and get aggressive, the owner would come over and hit him or kick him. She says the dog wouldn't be that mean if the owner didn't treat it so badly. The little boy is not the owner. These mutts are built with a natural instinct to kill, to see living things made of flesh and blood and attack it. That's why that stupid mutt attacked that boy. It has natural animal instincts. It is not a human. July 8th, this man was attacked by a dog that he knew. As he was being attacked, he said, I was like, why are you biting me? I fed you. I walked you. Again, believing that these dogs have human mentalities, imposing a human thought process onto a fucking mutt. Only deranged human beings do that. These are flesh eating animals. He said he got into an argument with the owner and he thinks that is what upset the dog. It don't matter if you pet these dogs, feed them or walk them. All these dogs care about is food and they have no respect for you. They are stupid flesh eating animals and they do not think like human beings. And you people are bringing these attacks onto yourselves and unfortunately onto children as well because you're creating the environment by allowing these animals to live in your home with your children right I believe this was in June or July in Washington a 28 year old woman died after police said her fiance's dog attacked her in the morning hours as the police officer showed up, the dog was still attacking the woman. The cop ended up having to kill the dog. Now, seeing that this was her fiance's mutt, she no doubt has fed that dog, petted that dog, kissed that dog, probably called it a fur baby, and considered it no different than a human child. Another mutt-loving weirdo retard who is not dealing with reality that is the pure definition of insanity these are flesh eating animals with killer instincts july 4th snowshoe township pennsylvania a 10 year old girl was attacked police said a dog belonging to a 30 year old Phillipsburg man broke free from its leash and collar at a home and attacked this girl, right? She sustained serious injuries to her face. Whenever these dogs break free from a chain, a leash, or get out of the fence, the first thing they want to do is find somebody to attack. That is exactly the type of animal that should be illegal to own. If this is not wild behavior, tell me what is. All of these stories are within the past month to two months. This man was attacked and he was disabled. In San Antonio. The animal care services said they respond to 10 to 15 dog bites a day. 
in San Antonio alone. That's 3,600 to 5,500 a year in San Antonio alone. The man says mentally, he does not look at dogs the same. You think so? Dogs don't care if you're disabled in a chair, right? A wheelchair. This man was on a cane. They look for anybody to attack because they are vicious, violent, stupid animals who don't give a damn that you feed them or pet them. July 4th, Palm Spring police say a woman was attacked by her own pit bull in an apartment. Right? Her own pit bull. Police had to tase the dog several times after it attempted to attack the officers. The woman is currently in critical condition. Right? A friend says she saw the woman coming out of her porch area screaming, help me, help me. The man grabbed a pool net and was able to loop it around the dog's neck momentarily so the woman could get away. But by that point, the dog had already bit her in the face and you can see her jawbone. The woman took off running to the back, right? But the dog was not finished. At that point, the dog went around the entire complex here at the condos. And when she ran out the front door, the dog was at the front door waiting for her and tried to attack her again. Goddamn dog knew where she was, hunted her down like the hunters they are by nature. Again, these animals are built by nature to kill. And you stupid people, why should I feel sorry for these animals? Why should I listen to these stupid videos playing this stupid sad music about goddamn mutts asking for donation for these animals? I don't speak in defense of any animal that attacks this many people and children every day, every year. July 5th, according to dispatchers, pit bull had attacked and bitten an adult female on her own property and was roaming the area unattended. Once police arrived, they began searching for the loose canine. And when the canine was located, the officer attempted to catch it using a pole, but the dog charged the officer and the officer retreated to the front of his vehicle with the dog in pursuit. The officer ended up having to shoot the dog. Once again, these dogs don't care who it is, adult or child, they prefer children. They're looking for somebody to attack at all times. Why should these animals not be illegal why should we not use them for food just like we do pigs and cows they are worthless don't talk to me about service mutts the harm they cause to citizens far outweighs whatever services they provide they can keep their stupid mutt services get rid of these fucking animals july 9th police say this man crashed his vehicle and fled. The officer was uh, arresting this man when he was attacked by a dog. The officer had to shoot the dog. And the owner of the dog actually called the dog innocent. Said that when the cops shot the dog, that all the neighbors were looking around as if to say, wow, you just shot an innocent dog. A dog who was in the process of attacking the police officer. This is the deranged mentality. People always looking for a reason to defend killers. Stupid ass, violent, vicious animals. June 27th, Discovery Bay, San Francisco, a 60-year-old Discovery Bay woman was airlifted to the hospital Wednesday morning after she suffered severe injuries when her own dog attacked her. Once again, their own dog. Have you talked to her before this? She would have told you, my dog has never shown aggression. This is a loving fur baby. 
stupid ass people. All dogs are great dogs until they attack somebody. Right? Deputies and firefighters discovered the woman badly mauled with severe bite wounds on several areas of her body. Right? The agitated dog returned to the home a short while later and was fatally shot when it charged the deputy. So the dog wasn't done. It attacked her, left her a bloody mess, left, and decided, uh, she's not a threat right now, but I'm about to go back and attack her again. Probably planned on eating her. June 18th, right, this officer was responding to a dog attack. And when she got there, she found a man who was injured and bloody, started to treat his wounds, and the dog came back. Once again, the dog leaves, right? Probably checking out the scene to make sure ain't nobody coming to get his meal and comes right back to attack the victim again. This is the kind of killers we're dealing with. The people allowed to live in their homes around their kids. Ridiculous. Another woman, Florence woman, was attacked by two pit bulls. She's still in the hospital. This was reported on June 18th. She was watering her plants in the front yard when she was attacked by her neighbor's pit bulls. Once again, once these animals break free, they're just looking for anybody to attack. That's the first thing on their mind. Attack somebody. Kill somebody. Yet people project these animals as loving animals. Play this sad music when they have them on these documentaries. Brainwashing people to view them as harmless, loving animals that are so sweet and loving you can have your kids around them. Ridiculous. June 25th, a Dallas man is coming out of a coma, but is still in critical condition after a dog attack in his South Dallas neighborhood. That attack and others like it have sparked calls for increased regulation when it comes to dangerous dogs and their owners. Ridiculous. 57 year old man was attacked by three dogs who got out of an open gate June 16th. Once again, as soon as these dogs get off their property, the first thing they want to do is find somebody to attack. Five-year-old boy mauled in a dog attack July 2nd that forced his mother to rip his head from the dog's jaws. The dog was on the lead and my sister asked if it was friendly and stroked it. But then when we were walking off, the owner let the dog off the lead on the main road and it ran over and jumped on Mackenzie, the boy, and got him on the floor. We had to drag the dog off ourselves. What is these people's addiction with rubbing on these goddamn mutts? What does that do for you? It serves no benefit to humans to rub on these fucking animals. And these people are addicted to it. Random dogs. Ooh, look at the dog, so cute. Let's rub it. That's the first thing they want to do is rub it. And then when that dog bite their face off, they want to act confused. As if they didn't know that this was a flesh eating animal with instincts to kill. These are just a few stories out of many that have been reported in the past month. So just understand, when you see videos like this, there is no doubt that this is child endangerment at the highest level. The parents of these children, in my book, are just as much of a danger to these children as are pedophiles and serial child killers. I place them on the same level. They deserve no respect whatsoever. I have absolutely no respect for dog lovers, especially the ones who have kids. I despise these people playing Russian roulette 
with their children's lives just so they can take a picture or record a video and say, oh, how cute. This is how addicted these retarded, deranged, weird people are to animals, dogs. Teaching kids that these deadly killers are like harmless toys that they can just play with. These are not harmless, loving animals. And this shit is not cute.